Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333386 hello everyone how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 3rd of january the session will be very important so stay tuned till the end let's start with the revision part first First is, India will be hosting the Women's World Boxing Championship in 2023. Holger Rune has won the men's single 2022 Paris Masters title. Chevrine, Charlotte and Abdul Qadir has been inducted into the ICC Hall of Fame. Virat Kohli became the first to score 4,000 T20 international runs. Uttar Pradesh to host 2023 Kelo India National University Games. This is important one. Next, Asian Boxing Championship 2022. Lovlina Borgin, Parveen, Sati and Alfia has won the gold medal here in the Asian Boxing Championship for 2022. Then England has won the T20 World Cup by defeating Pakistan in the finals. Next is Indian Air Force. Indian Air Force recently tested the extended range tested the extended range version of the brahmos and this brahmos is a joint venture between which two countries it is between india and russia all right and if the question asked that which was the first country who purchased brahmos missiles from india it will be your philippines all right philippines ordered the purchase of Brahmo first batch or you can say the fur became the first country to purchase Brahmo's supersonic missiles from India. Alright, then next, next question that can be asked from this particular news is that this extended range version Brahmo's air missile was tested using which aircraft? So it was your Sukhoi 30, Sukhoi 30 Mark 1 aircraft that was used to test this particular missile then it was used to target a ship that was in bay of bengal next next is a very famous brazilian football player and a three-time fifa world cup winner pele as you can see him in the picture has passed away i repeat he was from brazil we are talking about pele all right he was a three-time fifa world cup winner and he has recently 
passed away. Next, also an obituary, a very famous architect, Arata Izozaki, has recently passed away. As you can see him in the picture, he was a Pulitzer Prize winner and a person is awarded with the Pulitzer Prize when he is related to the field of architecture. All right, when he is related to the field of architecture and he was a very famous architect, Arata Izozaki, who recently passed away. Next, next remember IDBI Bank has reappointed Suresh Khatnahar as their deputy, manage, uh, deputy managing director for a period of one year. All right, that means for one full year, IDBI Bank has reappointed Suresh Khatnahar as the deputy managing director. All right, highly important. Next, next is Art Park IISC has joined hand with Google to launch Project Vani. All right, I repeat, which two organizations came together to launch Project Vani? It will be your Pro Art Park, that is your artificial intelligence and robotic technology park, that is of IISC. It is a non-government or, or non-profit organization of IISC that is working towards the research and development of artificial intelligence and robots. So this art park of IISC that is in Karnataka, Bangalore has joined hands with Google to launch this AI powered project Vani. Next, next remember five world rapid and blitz championship for 2022 in men category Magnus Carlsen who is the world's number one chess player has won the title and on in the women's category Tan Zongi has won the gold medal in the women's category only remember india savita shri has secured the bronze medal here and it was the fourth rapid world title for the magnus carlson all right if we are talking about fight where is the headquarter of fight it is in uh, who became the deputy president of fight he will be vishwanath anand and where is the headquarter of fight it is in lausanne switzerland all right where is the headquarter of UNESCO? It is in Paris. Where is the headquarter of UNEP? That is United Nations Environment Program. It is in New York. Uh, sorry, it is in Nairobi, Kenya. Where is the headquarter of UNDP? That is United Nations Development Program or United Nations. Both of their headquarters is in New York. Next, next, NASA has selected SpaceX. To provide launch services for the sentinel 6b mission so if question asked that so for the sentinel 6b mission nasa selected which spacecraft or which space organization it will be your spacex or vice versa the question can be asked that sentinel 6b mission is of which space organization it will be your nasa all right next national mathematics day national mathematics day is observed in the memory of S. Ramanujan, all right, he was a very famous Indian mathematician, all right, and on his birthday on 22nd of December, we observe National Mathematics Day. Next is your Sanya Mirza. We are talking about Sanya Mirza, she is not, we are not talking about the tennis player, all right, so don't get confused. Sanya Mirza, who is from Uttar Pradesh, became the first Muslim female fighter pilot all right fighter jet pilot i repeat first muslim female fighter jet pilot is sanya mirza she recently cleared the nda exam and now she will be becoming the first muslim female fighter jet pilot she is from uttar pradesh and her name is sanya mirza so that's all for today's current affairs friends uh, for revision now let's move to the important current affairs of the day first mof what is mof that is your ministry of finance has increased the interest rates on a number of small saving schemes for fourth quarter of fiscal year 23 beginning 1st of january 2023 i repeat various small saving schemes with increased interest rates such as the rate on various instruments have increased by 20 
टू हंड्रेड एंड टेन बेसिस पॉइंट दैट आर नाउ इन द रेंज ऑफ फोर परसेंट टू सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स परसेंट ऑल द पोस्ट ऑफिस टाइम डिपॉजिट द किसान विकास पात्रा स्कीम द सीनियर सिटीजन सेविंग स्कीम द मंथली इनकम सेविंग स्कीम द नेशनल सर्टिफिकेट एंड अदर्स नाउ हैव हायर इंटरेस्ट रेट्स Meanwhile, where the interest rates on the public provident fund that is PPF, Sukanya Smriti account and saving deposits have remained unchanged. All right, so multiple interest rates have been increased, but for PPF and Sukanya Smriti account and the saving deposit have remained unchanged. Next, next is M an M O U was signed for commercial production of the indigenously developed Lumpy Provac. Vaccine. I repeat, a memorandum of understanding was recently signed for the production of goat pox vaccine, and lumpy provac vaccine has been signed in Nagpur, Maharashtra. All right, where was this signed? It was signed in Nagpur, Maharashtra, in the presence of Union Minister of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairy, Prushottam Rupala ji, and the Maharashtra's Chief Minister Eknath Shinde and Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis. This will play a major role in the efforts of government to control and eradicate lumpy skin disease. The lumpy skin disease has been reported in India from 2019, while the first case was reported in Odisha. All right, and if you remember, this lumpy skin disease is causing havoc on cattle. All right, so coming back, remember which vaccines commercial production has recently been in signed. All right, an M O U for which commercial vaccine has been signed? It will be your Lumpy Provac vaccine. Highly important. All right, so to remember it. Next, next is government of India has signed a new integrated food security scheme that will be starting from first of January twenty twenty three, and this is to supply free food grains to more than eighty one crore beneficiaries under the National Food Security. act i repeat government of india has introduced a new integrated food security scheme that will be starting from 1st of january 2023 and it will be to supply food grains to more than 81 crore people or 81 crore beneficiaries under the national food security act that is your nfsa if we talk about this new integrated food security scheme The new integrated food security scheme will subsume two present food subsidy schemes run by the Department of Food and Public Distribution. These two schemes are that we are talking about. They are food subsidy to Food Corporation of India for NFSA and food subsidy for decentralised procurement states. While deals with procuring, allocating, and delivering free food grains to the states under the NFSA. And what is your NFSA? National Food Security Act. All right. Here, free food grains will ensure uniform implementation of probability for portability under One Nation One Ration Card across India, thereby strengthening this choice based platform. All right. So coming back, remember, government of India has introduced a new. food integrated food security scheme that will be starting from 1st of january 2023 and here almost a more than 81 crore beneficiaries will be benefited under this national food securities act all right then if we talk about g20 mark the remember g20 is the leading forum of economic cooperation of global scale here g20 members are 20 nations that you can remember just by going through the in the pdf all right and this time india is having the presidency of g20 and the theme of the g20 will be vasudev kutumbakam next next is ministry of rural development uh, i repeat ministry of rural development has launched prajwala challenge inviting ideas solutions and actions to transform the rural economy that means ministry of rural development's flagship poverty alleviation program deen dayal antyodaya yojana national rural livelihood mission has launched a new scheme that is prajwala challenge that will unlock the rural economic opportunity here the aim is to invite various ideas 
solutions and action that can transform the rural economy so you can see here recently which ministry has launched this prajwala challenge it was launched by ministry of rural development why this was launched this was to invite ideas solutions and actions that can transform the rural economy shailesh kumar singh who is the secretary of ministry of rural development launched this prajwala challenge in new delhi and charanjit singh an additional secretary senior officer of the ministry key state mission directors of the rural livelihood mission startup incubators and ngo representatives if we talk about this prajwala challenge this will be a first of its kind nationwide initiative to provide thoughtful minds with a platform to present new innovative and scalable pathways for rural economic transformation in india applicants are open from 29th of december 2022 to 31st of january 2023 The mission will acknowledge the shortlisted ideas and offer them incubation, support, and mentorship from a team of subject matter experts. Top five ideas will be rewarded with two lakh rupees each, and the winners will be announced on eighth of March, twenty twenty-three. So, coming back, who launched this Prajwala challenge? It was launched by the Ministry of Rural Development. The aim here is to invite ideas, solution, and actions that can transform the. Ruler economy. Another way the question can be asked here is that this Prajwala challenge will basically transform which economy? It will be for transforming the ruler economy. All right, highly important. Next, next. Remember, Croatia became the twentieth member of the Eurozone and twenty seventh country to join the passport free Schengen. zone highly important so question can be asked that which country recently gave up their own currency to join the euro it will be your croatia now if they will be using the euro as their currency remember croatia the youngest member of the european union adopted euro and it became a part of the europe's border free schengen zone croatia that is a croatia that is a balkan country is now the 20th member of the eurozone and 27th country to join the passport free schengen zone croatia is a former yugoslav republic that fought an independence war in 1990s and joined the euro in 2013 what is a schengen area schengen area allows 420 million people to freely move between member nations without encountering border restrictions all right here you can see the euro the eurozone european union member states that have adopted the euro as their national currency collectively refers themselves as euro area or euro zone with croatia 20 euro member states and 347 million european citizens will share the european's common currency the euro will progressively replace the kuna as the official currency of croatia starting from 1st of january 2023 New Croatian Euro coin will have inventor Nikola Tesla on one side as well as the map of the country and the nation national checkboard design on the other side. Moving on, next is current account deficit has widened to 4.4% of the GDP in the second quarter of fiscal year 2023 as per the bank's net NPA ratio at 10 year low and this report was released by RBI. I repeat in accordance with the reserve bank of india the balance of payment for the july september quarter that is second quarter of fiscal year 2022 to 2023 india's current account deficit widened in the second quarter of fiscal due to increased trade gap driven by the high commodity prices and weak rupee here you can understand that that means we were importing more than exporting all right that means we were importing more goods from different parts of the world and we were exporting less one of the high re main reason of this can be because from russia we started importing a large amount of gas all right so remember this rbi released the report stating that current account deficit has widened to 4.4% of the gdp in the second quarter of the fiscal year 22 to 23 Next, Indian Bank has unveiled the QR bill based payment system for CESC Mysore. What is CESC? That is Chamundeshwari Electric Supply Corporation Limited. Indian Bank unveiled a Q 
QR that is quick response code that is your QR code bill payment system for Chamundeshwari Electric Supply Corporation Limited making it the first power distribution company to offer such an initiative to the customers in Mysore Karnataka. This was launched by Karnataka's Minister of Energy V. Sunil Kumar in the presence of senior government officials including CESC Managing Director Jeva Bivaswamy. Alright, and this dynamic QR code that is linked to the unified payment interface UPI on printed electricity bills will help the customers in making their payments without visiting any online portal or physically going to any payment center. So, this QR based bill payment system for Chumendeshwari Electric Supply Corporation of India was launched. It will be sent along this QR code will be sent along the bill where people just can scan that QR code and they will be easily able to do the payment. Here either of the things can be asked. Either the name can be asked that for which area 2275 crore rupees was agreed by Asian Development Bank to improve the power distribution Tripura. Second who approved it? It was approved by Asian Development Bank and for what reason and it was for the power distribution network. All right, highly important. Under this Asian Development Bank will support the state government's effort to strengthen their power sector by replacing the inefficient power plants and strengthening the distribution system. All right. Next. Who is the chief minister of Tripura? Manik. Shah is the current chief minister of Tripura. Next, next is IIT Madras and DRDO has partnered to introduce DIA RCO. What is RCO? This is your DRDO Industry Academia Ramanujan Center of Excellence. So remember IIT Madras created a center of excellence named DRDO Industry Academy Ramanujan Center of Excellence at campus unit set up by the DRDO to develop advanced technologies for the national defense and security. I repeat, I, IIT Madras has recently created a center of excellence. Where was the center the, and the name of the center, ex, uh, center of excellence will be DRDO Industry Academia Ramanujan Center of Excellence that is DIARCOE. This will be at campus unit set up by the Defense Research and Development Organization that is our DRDO. And why this was developed? It was to it was developed for advanced technologies for national defense and security. Alright, highly important. This center will undertake basic and applied research in the areas including electronics, computational systems, naval systems and naval technologies. Alright, highly important. So it was IIT Madras and DRDO that has partnered to introduce DIA that is your DRDO Industry Academia Ramanujan Center of Excellence for Advanced Defense Technology Research. Next, we are talking about appointment. Luis Inacio Lula da Silva has been sworn in as the 39th president of Brazil. And we know from Brazil only a very famous has a very famous football player has passed away. Pele. Alright, so coming back, remember Luis Inacio Lula de Silva. He was the he has been appointed as the 39th, 39th president of the Brazil. Next, next is Ajay Kumar Srivastava became the new managing director and chief executive officer of the Indian Overseas Bank. Directly friends, you have to remember this that who has been appointed as the new managing director and chief executive officer of Indian Overseas Bank. He will be Ajay Kumar Srivastava. Alright, his term period will be for three years and it will this term period will start from third, 1st of January. 2023 all right highly important next if we talk about indian overseas bank we just saw that who will be the managing director and chief executive officer ajay kumar Srivastava. when was this established in 1937 where is the headquarters chennai tamil nadu all right 
Also remember the government of India appointed him as a director for a 2 year term on the board of the India Infrastructure Finance Company Limited. Next next remember election commission appointed Mithali Thakur as the Bihar state icon. I repeat Mithali Thakur a folk singer was appointed as the state icon from Bihar by the election commission an indian classical and folk music trained musician was recently chosen for the ustad bismillah khan yuva puraskar of the sangeet natak academy for her contribution to the folk music of bihar in 2021 all right so two ways this question can be asked first that who was chosen for the ustad bismillah khan yuva puraskar of the sangeet natak academy or that who was appointed as the bihar state icon so she will be Mith- mithilia thakur all right and she is a very famous folk singer mark this question can definitely be asked all right and it was a point she was appointed by whom by election commission next next is fight world rapid and blitz champion koneru hampi win india's first silver medal at the world blitz championship first of all tell me this fight world rapid and blitz championship this is related to which sport this is related to chess how i know because it is of fight five whenever fight comes remember it is related to chess all right so remember indian grandmaster and there is a term that grandmaster also so grandmaster is also related to chess so grand Ma- indian grandmaster koneru hampi that is a former world rapid champion has won the silver medal in the women's world blitz championship at the fight world rapid and blitz championship 2022 that was held in almaty that is in kazakhstan this was held from 25th to 30th of december in 2022 all right and remember koneru hampi has won the india's first ever silver medal in the world blitz chess championship defeating zong zing ten of china all right next here you can see the list in open blitz you can see these people have won you should take a note of this and the important here is indian koneru hampi has won the women's silver medal in the women's blitz championship next next we are talking about Kostov Chatterjee. Kostov Chatterjee became the India's 76, uh, 78th Grand Master and highly important. If we talk about him, he is from which state? He is from Kolkata. Alright, he is a chess player as we know because we are talking about uh, Grand Master. So, Kolkata based chess player Kostov Chatterjee became the 78th Grand Master of India. He is 19 years of age. He is from Kolkata and in the MPL 59th National Senior Chess during this tournament he became the 78th Grand Master of India. Also remember he is also the 10th Grand Master hailing from Kolkata West Bengal. Alright highly important. Next. Next is former Tata Sons Director Padma Shri Awardi. R.K. Krishna Kumar has passed away. I repeat, former Tata Sun director Padma Shri awardee R.K. Krishna Kumar has recently passed away. If we talk about him, Tata Group veteran and former director of Tata Sons, Padma Shri awardee R.K. Krishna Kumar passed away in Mumbai, Maharashtra at the age of 84. He was close confidant of Ratan Tata, a well known for his role in the several Tata Group acquisitions, including the acquisition of Tetley in 2000. Alright, RK Krishna Kumar was fondly known as KK. He was born in 1938 in Kerala. He started with his career with Tata Administrative Services in 1963 and he began with working for Tata Global Beverages that is Tata Finlay in 1965 and later rose the rank rose through the ranks to become the vice president of South India plantations in 1982. So coming back remember RK also received the Padma Shri 
अवार्ड दैट इज़ द इंडिया फोर्थ हाइएस्ट सिविल एन अवार्डर फॉर इज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टू द इंडियन ट्रेड एंड इंडस्ट्री एंड रिसेंटली ही हैज़ पास अवे नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज ग्रामी विनिंग सिंगर अनिता पॉइंटर हैज ऑल्सो पास अवे अनिता मैरी पॉइंटर अ ग्रामी विनिंग सिंगर पास अवे एट द एज ऑफ सेवेंटी फोर शी वॉज बेस्ट नोन फॉर एज अ फाउंडिंग मेंबर ऑफ द वोकल ग्रुप ऑफ द पॉइंटर्स सीरीज ऑल राइट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट शी वॉज बॉर्न इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी एट इन कैलिफोर्निया यू एस ए एंड शी रिसेंटली पास अवे नेक्स्ट फॉर्मर आई ए एस काकी माधव राव ऑथर्ड अ न्यू बुक दैट इज ब्रेकिंग बैरियर दिस बुक हैज बिन ऑथर्ड बाई एन आई ए एस एंड द नेम इज काकी माधव राव और राइट द नेम ऑफ द बुक इज ब्रेकिंग बैरियर्स द स्टोरी ऑफ अ दिलित चीफ सेक्रेटरी विच एड्रेस द डिटेल्स अबाउट द डायनेमिक्स ऑफ सिविल सर्विस एट द ग्राउंड लेवल एंड ऑल्सो फिल्स द गैप इन द नॉलेज अबाउट द माइक्रो पॉलिसीज एंड गवर्नेंस द बुक इज पब्लिश बाय एम एसको बुक्स प्राइवेट लिमिटेड नेक्स्ट सो फ्रेंड्स दीज वर यूर ऑल करंट अफेयर्स फॉर द डे नाउ लेट्स गो फॉर अ क्विक रिविजन Ministry of Finance has increased the interest rates on a number of small savings schemes for the fourth quarter of fiscal year 23 beginning 1st of January 2023 MoU signed for commercial production of indigenously developed lumpy pro vaccine Government of India introduced new integrated food security scheme for 2023 MoRD that is Ministry of Rural Development has launched Prajwala challenge inviting idea solution and actions to transform rural economy croatia has joined the schengen zone and switches to euro cad widens to 4.5 of gdp in the second quarter banks net npa ratio at 10 year low as per the rbi report indian bank has unveiled the qr bill based payment system for cesc mysore tripura signed a 2275 crore rupees agreement with asian development bank to improve the power distribution network iit madras and drdo has partnered to introduce dia rcoe for advanced defense technology research luis inacio lula da silva has been sworn in as the 39th president of brazil Ajay Kumar Shivasta became the new managing director and chief executive officer of the Indian Overseas Bank. Election Commission appointed Mithila Thakur as the Bihar state icon. Next, Fight World Rapid and Blitz Championship for 2022, Kuneru Hampi has won the India's first silver medal at the World Blitz Championship. Kostov Chatterjee became the India's 78th Grand Master in the MPL 59th National Senior Chess. championship former tata sons director padma shri awardee rk krishna kumar has passed away grammy winning singer anita pointer passed away former ias kaki madhav rao authored a new book that is breaking barriers now friends it's time for your homework first is which institution has been named as the g20 science working groups secretariat india signed a 125 million dollar deal with which institution to improve the urban services in tamil nadu which union ministry has been approved as the nodal ministry for the matters relating to online gaming important question friends fourth what is the name of the digital project funded by the google to map the language diversity of india we just discussed this today next is daksh is the payments fraud reporting module maintained by which institutions these are your five homework questions i hope you have understood the assignment all now you have to do is like the video and comment below and let us know what are your views on such sessions if you want us to continue with such sessions on regular basis all you have to do is comment below and let us know so that's all for the day friends thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud_official 
In the end friends, if you use a code that is Vikas10, you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code Vikas10. Also, if you have any problem regarding the course purchase, any problem regarding to our application, you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862. And if you want to mail us, you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com. And I assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue.